Recently, there has been an influencer online that's been called out for being racist and being an absolute degenerate, which is nothing new these days. A, a bunch of influencers are being called out for weird stuff that they've done. Oh! Ew! Dude! What the fuck? This person in particular, though, is a little different. Their name is Bella the Wolf, and they're a gotcha life YouTuber, so you already know that it's gonna be good. I've heard a lot of bad things about gotcha life especially the content that's relating to it or made on it and bella's content is no different i use influencer lightly because the only thing she influences is the act of beating soldiers on gotcha life researching into this person every single article that talks about her which I'm surprised that there's any articles at all, describes her as a soldier abuser. Imagine being described as a soldier abuser. Not even like a person that actually abuses soldiers, just someone who plays pretend by placing down some soldiers on Gotcha Life and talking about how bad they are and then killing them. The only two videos that she has on her YouTube channel are about abusing soldiers. One video is about killing a soldier and the other one is capturing a soldier's dog. That is wild a gotcha YouTuber doing this. This is actual content created by a mentally unstable person. This is their about me on YouTube. Hi, I'm Bella the Wolf. My OC is 16. Soldiers equals rats that don't deserve mercy. They get praised for killing innocent people. Actually, soldiers don't kill innocent people, at least in America, they don't. Soldiers are meant to protect the country, not attacking innocent people for no reason. Technoblade equals bald pig who is a racist man. He needs to stay in his grave. If you don't know who Technoblade is, he was a Minecraft YouTuber that has sadly passed away due to cancer. Just knowing that and this lobotomized basement dweller making fun of Technoblade for having cancer by calling him a bald pig and then calling him a racist without any like evidence to back that up is just bad. Queen Elizabeth equals old hag who is a racist woman also has no evidence to back that up. Tire cords equals uneducated monkey lover who needs to be banned quitting at 5k. This person is not going to quit at 5k. They're going to get to 5k and then they're going to like bump it up. And it's ironic that the same person who is calling everyone racist in her bio is racist herself by calling Tire Chords an uneducated monkey lover. Tire Chords is a YouTuber as well. You probably know him for his YouTube shorts. He makes some pretty funny shorts. Spider's gonna get married one day. Tire Chords also made a couple Bell of the Wolf videos on his YouTube channel. While I was like working on the script, there's only two. Now there are three videos. The second and third video talking about his experience with Bella and her community and her fan base, which her fan base probably consists of like eight year olds that somehow got access to Discord. They have made some really crude art with him in it on Gotcha Life, of course, because they can't make art anywhere else. Depictions of Tyre in very bad situations, which I won't get into. Just, just know that they're really bad. He talks about how she and her fans have made fun of Tyre too, not just with the art, but like saying really racist things. It's just sad. Like imagine having nothing better to do with like pizza and dirt stains all over your drawing tablet and thinking, man, I'm going to draw this YouTuber in the most grotesque situation. That is so sad. But then again, her fan base consists of a bunch of nine year olds. They probably don't have anything else better to do other than like playing with blocks. But I mean, at least that's better than what they're doing right now, drawing all this stuff. I feel incredibly bad for Tyre. He definitely doesn't deserve this. Neither does anyone. Imagine having someone's whole fan base filled with bone marrow babies attack you for calling their favorite gotcha YouTuber out. That is so depressing. Another thing I want to point out is Bella's God complex. She actually goes out of her way to make videos calling other people with different beliefs nerds. She has multiple videos calling herself a god. She either has videos abusing soldiers or calling herself a god. What a combo. So I went on TikTok and I found that there are two accounts that has Bella related content. I'm not sure if there are like original accounts on her YouTube channel it links to a different TikTok account that's neither of those two but it has no videos. She mainly targets Christianity and Islam. It's like, those are like her two biggest ops. She doesn't seem to target any other religion other than those two.
Bella is also said to have three siblings and five pets, which I highly doubt either of those are true. Her siblings being named Evan, Aya, and Layla. I put siblings in quotes because I doubt she actually has siblings in real life. Her siblings are probably imaginary characters that she made up in Gotcha Life, so she feels less lonely. The siblings she thought up in her head probably tried to gain consciousness and escape. Two of her siblings are also described as soldier abusers. They were definitely created by Bella. Same goes with her five pets that the wiki says that she disowned, which I also highly doubt the pets disowned her. The animals probably scented out her atrocious god complex and fled her vicinity. Bella the Wolf also has a Discord channel, which I'm going to be joining and observing the wildlife in there. The Discord server also has over 21,000 members, 20,000 of them probably being trolls. So I'm going to join this and see what it's all about. Let's see the main chat. Was it? Oh my god. She licked a 10 year old's kid's phone number. Oh yeah, that's I'll talk about in a little bit. This has to be a rage baiter. Oh, this person's doxing Bella, I think. They're actually just doxing her in the chat. Venting? They have a venting channel? Okay, the, they have a venting channel and the first thing I see is someone with a profile picture of Hitler. People in the server are also degenerates. Oh my god, all these trolls are bad too. Holy crap. Let's see the announcements. The cat will be sacrificed as a tribute to her religion and Whatever happens to the server stays in the server, so I better not see y'all leaking this or you will be banned. Oh no, I don't want to get banned. I don't want to get banned. Please help me take this video down. He's exposing me. That's a fake screenshot. No way. <laughs> what is it? Oh my god. Yeah, these trolls are not any better than Bella. Holy crap. Yeah, the only thing going on here is just people spamming slurs and people hating on Bella. She also has a Roblox account too. Checking their Roblox account, they seem to have a game in their favorites called Bell the Wolf's Church. So this goes with her whole religion of her being a god um, with an overwhelming amount of dislikes to likes. Let's check out the game, see what it's about. I'm sure it's gonna be great. Let's see what's up in here. Pray to Bella before it's too late. The chat is also a cesspool. Anything interesting in here? Just a badge. So there's a bunch of free models just put in together. This is, there's a VIP room. I don't think there's a single thing in here that's not free model other than the fan art. It's just congratulating people on getting a mod. Oh my god, their lives must suck if they're a mod for Bella. Yeah, this game is just an amalgamation of free models. Interesting game. She also has a Robux group that somehow has over 100 Robux in funds. One more thing before I end the video off. Bella has also leaked a 10 year old's phone number with the 10 year old's mother making a video discussing the situation. Hello, everybody. Looking at this TikTok. Yesterday, some girl or some person who goes on the internet by Bella the Wolf put my son, and here he is, that's Miles, put Miles' number on a Discord server, said that it was hers, and told people to call. I feel really bad for the people in this video as well. Someone giving out a 10 year old kid's phone number and them receiving a bunch of phone calls with them saying racial slurs and really bad things. It's incredibly degenerate behavior from all the trolls. Even on the Discord server who's against Bella, they're also degenerate because they're leaking her IP. And from what I assume trying to swat her, I think this person should be kicked off the internet. Unfortunately, I don't think their parents had anything to do with their life because the way they act now, this is just incredibly depressing. That's all I want to talk about. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.